Welcome everyone, this is Botany and Board. I am Bailey, and I am also oh excited to welcome you all to Deduction December. We are going to be hitting up some of my favorites as well as some new deduction games that I have gotten for myself because I realized that I myself love logic and deduction. So I thought, why not make December better and just make it Deduction December? So that is what we are doing. To kick it off, we are going to be playing Turing Machine. I have played this game seven times so far, and in that seven times, I have decided that this game is a 10 for me. I absolutely love it. Like, it just tickles my logic deduction brain perfectly. So, I have put into the app on their website, not an app, but just on their website, um, a random generated case. So I did a solo mode and that was on easy because I've only played seven times. I mean, no need to go crazy. And then with four verifiers. So I have the game here set up how I like to play it solo. If you're going to play it with a multiplayer game, you actually take this and you would have put like, so this is, I have it set up where it's like A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D. Um, these are kind of corresponding to that on my little clue card. But if you wanted to play it in the multiplayer, these would actually be like, so if this was A, it would go like this, and then it's a little verifier. You would check the box with, with the little marker that, is come, that comes with the game, and then you would set that over here. And then when people want to test this, they take this and then test it against their machine. Um, but for solo mode play, this is, I find, a little bit more efficient, so this is how I have it set up for us today. Um, the game is pretty self-explanatory as we get in, so I will kind of just explain things to you as we go. But first and foremost, we're just trying to solve what the three-digit code is. And to do so, we have different rounds of the game. So on each round, we're allowed to test three different verifiers. So you make one code, and then you get to test up to three verifiers. You could test two if you wanted to. You don't have to do all three. And then once you actually know what the code is, you can go ahead and just put it in your app and solve it. And then that is not all that you have to do though. You can test then if, if you just got the code right and then you can say, did you beat the bot? And then it'll tell you how many rounds and questions it took the bot to solve the code versus you. Um, I feel like I'm about like 50-50, I would say on my first seven scenarios. Um, I think maybe I have maybe like four to three, um, but there's times that like the bot will be like, two rounds and five questions, and I might have done like two rounds and six questions, something like that. So without further ado though, let's go ahead and get in. If you guys would like to play along, it is A48DRC. That is the code for this game. Um, so you could kind of, if you have the game, push pause, go play it, and then watch the rest of my video, and then see how we stack up against each other and see if we both beat the machine. Let me know down below if you are also gonna play along with me. Um, and if you haven't played, um, this will be a spoiler for this particular code, but I highly doubt if on the, it says that there's millions on the app, so I highly doubt you'll end up with the exact same code as me. So I don't think we're in too much spoiler territory. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and begin. So I don't need anything else for my phone actually now that I have generated it on, generated the code, and it told me to get out, uh, these particular cards, which is also self-explanatory. I don't need to really belabor into that. Um, when you're testing a code, so the way that works, let me just show you how these stack up together. So you'll see that when I put all three of these together, only one square appears now. So then this will go and I, once I lay it over one of my little cards over here, then that will completely illuminate what is a check mark versus what is in red X. So why that is important is because that is how we are going to test these verifiers. So what does that mean, test the verifier? Well, if we look at our first example up here, it says this verifier verifies the blue number compared to the number three. So for instance, if my code, if I had put blue as a one, it obviously would be testing, well, is blue less than three? because I, since I picked one, and then if it came back and said, check mark, yes, it is less than one, then I'd go ahead and write down in my little clue that blue is for sure less, less than three, excuse me. <laughs> blue is less than three. Blue, if blue is less than one, that's not even a possibility. Um, okay, so that is kind of how it works. Our, works. our codes that we have for today, we have the number compared to three, 
uh, the blue, whether the blue is even or odd, and then the purple number compared to the yellow number, whether which one's bigger or little or if they're equal, and then the number of even numbers compared to the number of odd numbers. So there's obviously even and odd both in the puzzle. Um, first little clue just from having that card in there. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and begin. I think let's do a We'll do this. That blue is less than three. It's even. And then let's do yellow's also even and it's greater than purple, which will also be odd. Okay, so you'll see now that I have my little thing lined up. So which ones do I want to test? Well, I think I'm going to go ahead and test A, is blue even? So it came up and said uh, red X. So in that case, blue is not even, blue is odd. So I'm going to go ahead and write that down, blue is odd. And then I can go right up here to my little thing and say, well, it's not four and it's not two. And then we have already figured out now that that one's even and odd, so I actually just go ahead and flip this down. That way I know that I've already attended to that. Um, okay. And then the next one I can test is compared to um, three. So I think... Yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. So blue compared to three. So it is less than three. So that means that blue is one, hooray. Um, so less than three. Okay, and I have attended to that one as well. And then the last one I wanna check. Now do I wanna check whether even number, there's more even numbers than there are odd, or do I wanna check the relationship between purple and yellow. I think I'll do the purple and yellow relationship. Okay. So it says yellow is in fact greater than purple and that was a check. So, and I totally messed up and I didn't do my <laughs> little things, but this one was a check mark of yes. Correct. Let me just double verify that. Got a little ahead of myself. <laughs> um, yes, okay, because you want to do this, that way you can remind you how many questions you asked. So on A, I got that the answer was confirmed yes. On this one, I remember I got no on B, so I'll put a X. And then on C, I got another yes. So on C, yes. And my code I tested was two, four, one. Okay, and so this one was yellow is greater than purple. Square is greater than circle, aka. All right, so now the only thing I need to really test is whether there's more even numbers or more odd numbers. Okay, so I'm gonna put this back. All right, so when I'm assembling this, so I do know that blue is one. I did deduce that, so I'll go ahead and have that like that. Now I know that these could be even or these could be odd, and I do not know, um, but there's definitely, they're definitely all not odd. And then purple and yellow. So yellow has to be bigger, but this won't really tell me. Uh, five. Ooh, but there must be a way, I feel like, to figure it out based on that, maybe? Because the number of... If this one... Mm, I don't know if I know yet. I'll go ahead and just figure out that. But I think it's that... I think it's got to be that there's more odds than evens. 
Oh, maybe that that's how I deduce between whether it's four or, or um, three. I don't know. Okay, let's go ahead and test this. <laughs> Long story short, I do not quite know. Okay, so it I was trying to test that there was more odds than evens. So, and in fact, there is more evens than odds. So evens greater than odds. I feel like the machine's definitely going to beat me because, um, I mean, maybe not. I guess I only had to ask four things, but. Okay, so I need to verify the code now. Um, so. Let's see. So if there needs to be more evens, then there are odds. And yellow needs to be bigger. So maybe it's a four and then a two because they're both even in that case and one odd yeah so that has to be it okay so four because of yellow needs to be bigger than purple and then purple two because there needs to be two evens versus two odds okay so then i want to test the code one four two so effectively though in round two all i did was just ask one verifier but i'm still it took me to the round three in order to answer the code so now i need to go to my little phone onto their website and okay so have here this is what it looks like whenever you get the random generated case give it just a second to Get used to the glare. Or take out focus, one of the two. Maybe I'll do this one. <laughs> oh, I was trying to show you guys. Okay, well, you will have to go to the app yourself, I suppose, and I'm sorry about that. Um, you can kind of tell, though, <laughs> the faint, the faint uh, shadows of what, what it is. But effectively here, this told me what I needed to set it up, and then I have test a code and solution. So I'm going to go test a code, and then it says input my code, and my code that I decided was 142. So 142. Okay, and I'm going to hit verify. It says congratulations this is the correct code and then it says right down here this big green button says did you beat the machine question so then what I do is I go ahead and add my rounds so I have so two four one so a I checked yes B I checked no C yes it doesn't actually matter what these are it's really only calculating how many times it took it took you um, Okay, so I guess there's those two rounds and then I did it. So, so I guess it does only count as two rounds of taking me. I guess you could solve it at the end of your, your turn. I apologize. So it says, yes, I did beat the machine. So I found the code in two rounds and four questions and it took the machine two rounds and five questions. So therefore, I am the winner. Yay. So two and four versus two and five. So let me know down below if you played this game, how many rounds and questions did it take you to get through this one? Let's go ahead and get set up for another one. A new sheet. Okay. Back, back to the game, back to the homepage. Um, okay, so to start, which you guys I'm sure can't see this since I was having troubles. Um, but it comes up and it says what I'm hitting is play and then it asks me what kind of type I would like uh, so the top is competitive solo co-op classic extreme or nightmare we're gonna go classic easy standard or hard 
and then verifiers four five or six so i guess let's try the standard difficulty this time and let's try um do you want to do four verifiers or five let's go let's keep to four uh, i don't know if i'm quite ready to jump into five just yet all right so standard five okay so i'm going to go ahead and put a the green ones back away because it actually wants me to get out the blue ones it'll depict which side uh <clears throat> is the where the number is depicted but you always orient it the same way in the code and it has that uh kind of cut out on the shape of the numbers to remind you okay 632 640 Okay, so it wants me to get first up if you guys are going to play along with me at home uh, our number is B48 K3U. And then the numbers it wants us to get are 780, back in the box and then the verifiers we need are uh, two again actually <laughs> and ten I'm like multitasking and putting away last games <laughs> and putting these back. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16, and then 5. Okay, and then 17 and 19 is what we... Don't mess that up or you will be <laughs> very confused on your puzzle. Um, all right, so again, our verifiers that we have for this puzzle is blue compared to three, the number of fours in the code, uh, then how many even numbers are in the code, and then also the sum of blue and yellow compared to six. That one's new, I haven't had that one yet. Um, I've had, I think, the other three at one point or another through the first seven uh, scenarios that they have. Um, let's see. Do you guys like uh, deduction? By the way, let me know down below. I mean, I'm about ready to embark on deduction December, I guess, with or without you, but <laughs> let me know if you happen to like it. I happen to love it. Um, okay, let's see. Let's do, so equal to greater than six, and number three. I think I'm going to actually test. Let's go three, three, to make them equal to six and this equal to three. And then for, let's go blue four to test the number of 
um, fours. So I will write down three, three, four, like so. And I decided I was going to test A, uh, B, and D. So A. Our result is, I'm oh, sorry, we move those down just a little bit so you guys can see. Uh, okay, so A was no. A blue is not equal to three. So no to that and no to that. Okay. And then how about the number of fours? Is there one four? There's one four. So one four. And then on the uh, less than three equal to three or greater than three, it is not equal to three. Okay. And then lastly, I was going to, so I guess we're done with that one. So go ahead and flip it over. And that one was a yes. I'll remember to do all the steps with you guys at some point. <laughs> um, okay. And the, ooh, this got lucky. I feel very lucky to have like stumbled upon this. Um, uh, yes, so D is in fact um, triangle plus oh, but it's that's not equal to three, but it could be a two and a four or a four and a two. Um, so, or a five and a one as well. So maybe I'm less likely, less lucky than I thought, but <laughs> once I know the number of even numbers, that will keep me in. Okay, so anyways, what was there? Oh, equal to six. So blue plus yellow equals six. Okay. Wonderful. So B and D have been discovered with my three, three, four. All right, so now next time I need to check t again to see what the number of blue is. And again, it's either going to be two and four or five and one. And then I don't know which one's bigger than the other. Um, I know there's only one four though. And then, so I need to figure out the number of even numbers or the number of odd. So let's just happen to go, um, if there was one, four, I feel like that would make it the purple one, because otherwise I wouldn't have any idea what the purple number was. So I feel like the, this one has to be a four. So then I think, depending on if this is bigger than or less than should tell me. So let's go five and one. Okay, so five, one, four. All right, so let's check it against this one. Okay, so blue is not greater than three. So less than three. So it is either two or one. but I feel like it's a one and this one's a five because I think, I mean, I can go ahead and test that just to like verify the number of even numbers, but I just feel like otherwise there's no verifiers about the purple code. So how would I know it? Other than there's just one four, which makes me think that that's it. Um, okay, so this one we have solved. I'm just debating on whether to ask the question because I feel like I kind of already know that it's going to be back with our third game. Uh, my mic went out some point in time during the third one, so 
I'm back here playing another one, a fourth one. <laughs> It'll be four games of Search Planet X Expert Mode for me today and four games of Terrain Machine. Nice little rounded out. Um, so I have it set up for us, ready to go. So if you'd like to play along with me at home, the code is B43YTF. And with that, we'll go ahead. So we are looking to verify. We have the number... Uh, the yellow number compared to four, the number of fours in the code, the number of even numbers compared to the number of odd numbers, and if the sum of all the numbers is even or if the sum of all the numbers is odd. So, I'll go ahead and write um, less than four equal to four greater than four and then number of fours, zero, one, two, three. And then the sum is either even or odd. And then more even or more odd. Um, alrighty then. So let's go ahead and do, let's test that the yellow one is equal to four, that there are two, two fours and the sum adds up to an odd number. Okay, so we're going to do the fours. So uh, yellow is in fact equal to four. Hooray. So A was tested. Yes. And equal to four. And sorry, one, four, four. Done with that one. I wanted to test over here the number of fours, see if there are in fact two fours. There's not two fours. There's at least one, so there's not zero either. They could all be four. Um, and oops. so I'm not sure about that one just yet. And then I wanted to test this one to see whether they add up to evens or odds. So they do not add up to an odd number, so it needs to add up to an even number. Okay. Done with that one. So, sorry, this was no, and that was no as well. Okay, <clears throat> so I could test there's just one four. All fours. Oh wait, the sum doesn't, sorry. I about did this backwards, you guys. <laughs> like, I wrote it down opposite. I have a eight, nine, so the sum is not odd. It is actually even. Woo, that was gonna totally tank um, there I didn't write through okay all right so the sum is even there is at least one four this is four the sum is even so I could have two odds with it or I could have three fours um, two evens, more evens, more odds. Let's do, um, let's put this one back and let's test that it's actually, I'll do two odds and the one even, because it's four, five, six, so the sum is even. Testing that there's one four, this one is equal to four, and then more evens or more odds, there'd be more odds. 
with what I'd be testing here. So this one I'm done with. Okay, so round two, my code is 141. <clears throat> okay, and there is more evens than odds. So B was no, there's not more odds. There are more evens, okay. And the number of fours, there is one of four, okay. Okay, so there's one four and it is this one. So this is not four and this is not four. There are also more evens than there are odd numbers. And the sum needs to be even, which means both of these are even numbers. So these have got to be two. Um, so these are not one. They are two. So two, four, two is what I am going in. I tested that one as well, which was of B and I tested C, sorry. So this was actually C, B was yes, and C was no. Sorry guys, I'm all over the place. <laughs> but if I can miraculously still manage to get the code right, it'll be like, how does her brain work? We don't exactly know, do we? <laughs> um, okay, so two, four, two. Yep, yellow is equal to four. There is one four. Some of this is eight, which is an even number, and there are more evens than there are odds. So I'm going to go and test the code. I wish it would focus just once for you guys. There we kind of go. You can see at least like generally what it looks like. So it has the verifiers down there, and then that is the the little actual like the grid of the yes and no's. So then we're going to do test it code. And then my code I want is 242. Whoops. 242. Two. And then verify. And then it says it turned green and it's a congratulations. This is the correct code. Did you beat the machine? And I did. A was yes. Again, it doesn't matter if these were yes or no. It really is just trying to um, figure out if you, how many questions you took. It says, I did. So it says, I found it in two rounds and five questions, and as did they. So we tied. So, hooray! Two and five versus two and five. There we go. That is Turing Machine. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed and played along with me. If you did, please let me know down below uh, what your scores were um, or anything. If you are curious about the game and whether you think you'd like it, have any questions, whatever, you know, let me know. And I hope you guys will join in and enjoy this deduction December with me. So with that, thank you guys oh so much for hanging out and I will see you next time.